So hello everyone and welcome to another Minecraft Redstone tutorial. This tutorial is going to be on how to build a 5, 10, 15 or 20 minute clock or any multiple of 5 really. Now someone requested this on Twitter so here you go I'm making it. If you want any other tutorials just send me a message on Twitter and I'll be sure to make it. So this uh, clock is based on the fact that if you throw an item down it will it will stay there for 5 minutes and then it will despawn. So what it is, is it's just a bunch of, uh, each one of these is a dispenser. So you start it off by a piece of stone I'm using will come out of there and it will land on that pressure plate which will then power that on. I'll use this one as an example. It powers that on so it turns this uh, light off. So this is your output and when that despawns, which I'll pick it up now a piece of uh, stone is chucked out of this dispenser and so it goes straight down, it goes through that block and drops down there and then this is your output five minutes later and then if I pick this one up it will go to that first line, that one will come off yep, five minutes and five minutes again oh yeah it'll be on this side and then that one goes on pick that up so every five minutes it'll just run through these um, to give you an idea of how long this will last, if you fill these with all nine stacks of something, with 64 items in them, so that's 576, I think. You got four of them, so that's like about 2,200. About 2,200. Then you got 20 minutes. You times it all up. It it takes about 32 days before you'll have to reload this. So you've got a full month before you reload it. So I'm just going to show you how to make it now. So to start with, we'll start on the right hand side. This is going to be a 20 minute clock like I've made over there. So just build as I build there, then two blocks, the torch, then a dispenser on top, and then I'll build that, put that block on the bottom, a pressure plate, oh, that's stupid, a block in front of the dispenser, this is so it goes straight down, and then a pressure plate on there. Now you you want to build a torch here so when that pressure plate is activated that torch goes off so that will power this dispenser just want to do, build that again another one in front and another pressure plate there chuck an item out into that one and then same again one more time just like this yeah that's right and press your plate in front. Now what you want to do is you want to bring it around the corner because you want to loop it into one system. So this time you put the torch back down there, bring it up and then this time you just put the dispenser facing backwards. But it's the exact same again. Oops, right. It's the exact same thing again. Just build it as normal. And then you build your, this is your output here. Also, you want to put that block on top so that it doesn't get chucked out and go past and over. So now you want to hook this up to here. But at the moment, if I just show you these torches, the outputs, they should all be on at the moment because there's no items in there. So you have to invert this one. In fact, yeah, you're going to have to invert that one. And now if I to fill these each. If you want it to last 32 days, you're gonna have to put a full st fill it with nine stacks in each dispenser. So now, if I quickly get rid of this wire and add it again, oh nope. If I get rid of this wire, it'll send a pull through there, which will chuck a block onto that pressure plate. So this system's coming on now. Now, if you wait five minutes, as I said before, that will despawn another one will get chucked and then this is your next five minute one so there you go guys that's a simple 5 10 15 20 minute clock that you can make um, it's got many uses say automatic wheat farms and um, sugarcane farms is a good use uh, you can make it so that like say every 20 minutes uh, pistons will come out and push all the wheat far wheat sugarcane should i say sorry into like a water flow and you can collect it down at the bottom later um, I'll probably make a video on that if you want me to. Just leave a comment below if you'd like me to make an automatic sugarcane farm and I'll show you how to.
So thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you've learned something new. And uh, to whoever, to whoever requested this on Twitter, there you go.